A sex offender sting. More than a dozen sex offenders living right next to a park on the east side of Indianapolis. WRTV's Alyssa Donovan shows us what went into the operation and the man who deputies are still searching for tonight. There are 14 sex offenders living just blocks away from this park here on the east side of Indianapolis. And the Marion County Sheriff says that's way too close for comfort. If you lived in the 800 block of North Olney, you'd walk by 14 sex offenders to get to the park. I don't think that's a good idea. And it's something Marion County Sheriff's deputies are working to make residents aware of. Today, they conducted surprise compliance checks on just over a dozen sex offenders living in three houses on Albany Street on the east side of Indianapolis. The requirement is to check serious violent predators every 90 days. We check them every 30 days. What's going on? We're looking, we're doing some compliance checks. Okay. We were able to determine six people said they were where they're at. There's two people we will probably be able to take, obtain some warrants on. The deputy's presence noted by neighbors like Dimitri Glanny. Couldn't ignore seeing about five or seven cop cars. He's lived here for almost two decades, and this is the first he's learning that his neighbors are registered sex offenders. Doesn't really make me feel happy. I will say it that way. It doesn't make me feel happy at all. Others were well aware that sex offenders lived in the neighborhood. Linda Suba says she knows who the offenders are and walks by their houses often. This group's been very good. They've never been any trouble with us. Sheriff Carrie Forrestal says they don't want that many sex offenders living in one area and so close to a community park. I mean, that's not safe. And if I was a, somebody in the neighborhood, I'd be upset about that. Where else are you going to put them? Forrestal wants them to go back to where they came from. 45% of the more than 1,800 sex offenders in Marion County are from other states or other counties. We don't want to welcome Matt to those people. We'll be responsible for the ones that were sentenced out of Marion County and we'll check them. But other people need to stay in the counties they were sentenced to. He's working to make that a law. But in the meantime, deputies will continue to do compliance checks and inform residents about who is living next door. Now I'm going to be a lot more vigilant, a lot more mindful of, again, the neighbors around me. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV. And the Marion County Sheriff's Office was looking for this man today, but deputies could not find him. His name is Robert Collins Jr. Investigators say Collins is wanted on two counts of failing to register. Deputies say he was originally convicted in Hancock County of child molestation and sexual battery involving an 11 year old victim. Call the Marion County Sheriff's Office if you've seen Robert Collins Jr. or if you know where he is right now. The Indiana Sheriff's Association Offender Watch website has a map where you can be linked to sex offender registries across the state. There you'll be able to see if there are any registered sex offenders living around you. We have a link to the map in this story on our website, WRTV.com.